Good morning, everybody. I got a little echo going on here, don't I, in the new office. There's not a whole lot in here. Hey, I really appreciate you starting late. Uh, I've been in here a half hour before this was supposed to go live, but YouTube didn't want to cooperate. So unfortunately, uh, it didn't get going. So I'm running, uh, what am I running now? What time is it? I'm running seven minutes late. I really apologize for that. I'll give you seven minutes of extra time. Uh, I want to thank everybody for showing up. Um, and if you are new to this, please do me a favor and give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to ring the bell. Subscribe to the channel. Ring the bell. Turn on all bell notifications so you know that when I'm going live. Uh, let's see here. Who do we got going on here? Jerry Clemens. The studio looks great. Um, so you'll be coming on at 8 a.m. Pacific time now. Yes, that is correct. That is totally correct. I'm going to do 10 a.m. Um, Central Time, uh, and I see I see James Breen. You know that was the one guy I was worried about. I want to make sure James is around. Uh, he's one of our regulars, and I appreciate you being here, James. He says the studio uh, looks fantastic. I appreciate that. Uh, I hope you're happy in your new home. I, I I so am happy in my new home. And as a matter of fact, I want to share with you guys how I got this new home. Um, this is a, a million dollar home, which is nice. Um, I like million dollar homes. Now, if this was in California, it would probably be three or four million. Uh, but in Texas, this is a measly old million dollar home. But I want to share with you how I got it, guys. Um, and I want to share with you how you can make money. And I want to talk to you today about all those different streams of income. Um, if you're new to this, I really appreciate you putting comments in. Uh, Richard Brown's there. It says, great to be here. Uh, let's see here. Richard Brown, 4 p.m. Uh, British Standard Time in the UK. Okay, so he's in the UK. And guys, we have people from all around the world. Um, but if you're listening to this, I want you to comment, say something, tell me what time it is, tell me what the weather is, ask me a question, whatever. Uh, tell me if you can hear me. I didn't even ask you that. I assume you guys can you, you can hear me because I'm getting comments. But uh, let me know if you can hear me or not. I'm going to go back to getting live uh, probably on a daily basis. I really like talking to you guys. I really like sharing with you guys different things. Um, and I'm going to talk to you about different streams of income. You know, here's the funny thing. We are brought up as children and we're taught that we need to learn certain subjects. We need to think a certain way that there's rich people and that there's poor people. And however you're, this is how I was raised. However you're born is really your lot in life. You know, I was told that, um, you know, I was not born rich. Matter of fact, I heard that a lot of times money didn't grow on trees and I wasn't born rich. And those are for rich people. We're not rich. Um, so I heard that over and over again. And I, I started to believe it as a young person. Um, I fell into that, oh, you gotta go to high school, then you gotta go to college, then you go out and get a job, and then you work for 30 or 40 years, and then you try to retire on half of the amount of income you have. Um, that is wrong. They have lied to you. They have not told you the truth, okay? It is not true. Uh, let's see here, I've got uh, Richard Brown. Here, you okay? Good, I appreciate that. Uh, let's see, the, and, and I, I pretty, <laughs> I'm sorry, but my computer's further away here. Uh, the Savvy BG Show sounds not great, just being honest. Yeah, I know, I don't have my sound panels in here, guys. Um, in my other uh, studio, I had sound panels, so I'm going to get something here uh, to make this sound better. I'm not quite sure how I'm going to do that, but I will get that fixed up, so we will have better sound. Don't worry about that. Um, so anyhow, that's what I was brought up to here, and it's just not the truth. Uh, let's see here. Wood table is... Creating echo. No, it's not the wood table, really. It's it's the room. There's nothing in this room but this desk and lights. Um, so I've got to get all of that insulated and get, get that fixed up. Uh, let's see here. Yes, sir, I got there. Uh, gotcha. Okay, so he understands now. Yeah, this the room is just totally empty, and I have a, a hardwood floor, so it, it creates this terrible echo, and I, I really apologize for that. But what I want to talk to you about today is income. Now, my primary company is a company called Survival Cave Food. Uh, and you can look that up, and I'm, I will attempt to type that in right now because uh, I'm not good at typing, and then I gotta lean forward because the computer's so far away. But you can look it up, Survival Cave Food. Survival Cave Food, we sell canned meats, dehydrated foods, and right now we're revamping our dehydrated food line, so we're just doing our canned meats. Uh, but yesterday, I did $45,000 at Survival Cave Food. One day, 45000 um, that is not a big day. Um, $45,000 is not a big day for survival cake food. I have many days where it's six figures plus, plus, plus. 
but it is one form of income. Now, what did I do for that income yesterday? I did nothing. Um, I have a warehouse in Utah that ships out the products. I have a manufacturing uh, facility in Ohio that makes it. Uh, and I have a staff that processes the orders. So what I did for that $45,000 yesterday was nothing, nothing. I went out to lunch and I looked at my phone and I saw the income coming in. Um, one of the other things I have is um, Web Cash Academy. Web Cash Academy is a um, course that is a bunch of videos. And what I did is um, prior to COVID, I used to do these meetups and I would record me training businesses uh, dentists, chiropractors, plumbers, you name it, who wanted to be able to sell their services or products online. And I recorded that and I put all of that into a course called the Web Cash Academy. Uh, and you can buy the Web Cash Academy for $27 a month. It's a continuity uh, course. And uh, you, you say, well, $27 a month doesn't sound like a lot. Um, but in fact, if you have a thousand people paying you $27 a month, that's $27,000 a month of passive income. I own another course called Digital Cash Academy. Digital Cash Academy shows you how to set up and run a drop shipping company. Uh, Digital Cash Academy sells for around $9.97, I think right now, anywhere from $9.97 to $19.97, and that's $997, okay? So I don't have to sell too many of those a month. You know, if I sell 30, 40, 50 of those a month, uh, you can see that's 30, 40, $50,000 a month right there. Uh, I have another course called the uh, Email Earning Systems. It teaches people emails, uh, and that's a lower-end course. I think it sells for $59 or $97. I can't even remember what it sells for anymore, uh, but I have that course also. Uh, in, in addition to that, uh, I have Ecom Road. Um, Ecom Road is a course that shows you how to set up a Shopify store so you can do drop shipping. Uh, Ecom Road um, sells for, I think it's $97 a month, something along those lines. Um, so I have Ecom Road. In addition to that, I have um, uh, J.R. Fisher's Inner Circle. Uh, and I have, I don't know, we'll get the sign over there, but I have J.R. Fisher's Inner Circle. Yeah, we'll get the sign. Hang on, hang on, hang on. I have J.R. Fisher's Inner Circle right here, okay? So if you're interested in J.R. Fisher's Inner Circle, you can check this out. Um, and depending on how you buy into this, um, this is normally anywhere from, you know, $197 to $497 a month, depending on the plan that you pick. Um, so this is J.R. Fisher's Inner Circle right here. You, you feel free if you want to write down that URL right there. Um, you know, and if I had, you know, 100 people paying me, you know, $497 a month, uh, as you can see, that's a lot of money per month. So, you know, you're welcome to check that out. I have that course also. Um, in addition to that, uh, and, and this is the point I'm trying to get across to you guys is I keep adding properties to my list of income. And since I keep adding properties uh, to that, um, it, it makes me more and more money. Let me check out some of the questions here. Uh, let's see here. Uh, no need to apologize. Thank you so much. Value is what we are here for. Yes, thank you so much. I appreciate that. But I will get the sound right. I know it's irritating if you have bad sound, but I wanted to go live even though I wasn't ready. Uh, let's see here. Uh, let's see. Cool. Uh, soon to go live on oh dca oh good 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 richard that's great uh let's see here uh jerry says how long did it take you to build up your business on the point there in at now i have been doing this since 2009 um so i'm, I'm going on my 12th year however my second year in the business i busted a million dollars my second year uh, and that was before I had all these courses and stuff. And I also want to pull up a sheet, uh, guys, because I can't remember all my streams of income. I know that's insane, right? I cannot remember all my streams of income. Let me get, uh, here it is. Okay, so some of the other streams of income are, uh, I told you about WCA, I told you about DCA, I told you about email earning system. Uh, oh, oh yeah, also eBusiness Toolbox. I have the eBusiness Toolbox. Uh, eBusiness Toolbox is a, uh, uh, really like a combination of a lot of the courses I have where you can log in and you can go work your way through all these different courses. That's what the uh, business toolbox is. Um, I also have a consulting business. Um, I initially started consulting at uh, $495 a month. I gave you two phone calls, one hour each. Um, so I was like $250 an hour. Um, and I worked my way up to some much bigger businesses and my consulting fee went to $2,000 an hour. Uh, one of my last contracts I just did, uh, 
Um, I earned $66,000 uh, for three months worth of work, uh, but that came out to $2,000 an hour is what I was charging. Um, so that wasn't bad. Um, obviously, I told you about Survival K Food. I have that. You can look that up. I also have affiliate Survival K Food. And what that means is since I built this list on Survival K Food, I can email that list affiliate offers, let's say out of ClickBank or Share Sale, and I make money off that also. In addition to that, J.R. Fisher, which is me and my training uh, and the parent company, which is uh, Digital Enterprise Marketing, um, that is a group of people who want to make money online. So I also send affiliate offers uh, through my email list to those people. And they're very select affiliate offers, people I have to know. I don't just go grab something and you know email it out. I don't do that. <clears throat> matter of fact, I'm working on something with John Cristani now. Uh, he's going to be emailing my stuff and I'm going to email his stuff. Uh, and that's the cool thing. Once you get into this, guys, um, you're going to develop these relationships with other people. And when you do that, you can help each other out and make more money. Uh, in addition to that, um, my YouTube videos, which I'm on YouTube right now, I have YouTube ad revenue. And what that means is when I do a video on YouTube, YouTube will actually run ads in the middle of my videos um, and I get a portion of that. So I have that income coming in every single month. If I, if I quit doing videos today, I still have an income off YouTube every single month um, off the ads that run on my previous videos. I currently have 1,000 videos on uh, YouTube, uh, actually it's more than a thousand, I'm gonna say a thousand to round it up. Um, so I have that money. In addition to that, below in my all my videos on YouTube, I have affiliate links to Amazon and to other things. I also put some of my courses in there, which you could look after this video and you can see some of that. And let me get off this one screen and get back to where I can see you guys. There we go, there we go. And please keep putting those comments in there, it's very helpful. Uh, let's see. How big is your list and do you have separate lists for different projects? Yes, I definitely have different lists for different projects. Um, anybody that is a good digital marketer will never share with you how many people are in their list. I'm just going to let you know that. Uh, they just won't do it. Um, two of the big questions I always get from everybody who's trying to make some money online is, number one, how much can I make? Uh, number two, how long will it take me? Um, and what, what people will say to me is, well, gee, you know, making $150 or $200 a month off YouTube ads isn't enough. Okay, I get that. But you have to get through that stage where you're not making a whole lot to get to a lot. You don't go from zero to $50,000 a month. It doesn't work that way. Now, some gurus out there will tell you it does. They'll say, oh, yeah, it's so easy, man. All you got to do is, you know, buy my program and you're going to make tons of money. That's BS. It's not the case. It's not going to happen. Um, so I do want to tell you that that's not going to happen. It's not going to happen. It takes time. But here's the truth. And the next thing I hear is, oh my gosh, I can't wait a year to start making some money. I need to make money now. Um, well, here's the thing. If you don't start, the money will never come. It's never going to come if you don't start. You've got to start. Uh, my first sale online was $10. I mean, I made $10 online is all I made. And, and I was so excited about it. I was like, oh my God, I made $10. I came running into the, the family room. Both of my kids were there. I was a single dad. And I told them, I said, man, I just sold something online. I sold something. They were like, great. How much did you make? I said, well, I, I sold a $10 item. It's not how much I made, but I mean, you know, I, I get a percentage of that, but I, I sold $10. And they looked at me like I was insane. They said, dad, $10 is nothing. I mean, you can't live off $10 a month. Uh, let's see here. Oh, yeah. I'm trying to read some of the comments, but it's so far away because where my screen is and where this desk is now is, is really far away. Uh, I'll get you get set up a something light help. I'm, I can't, let me, let me see. I can't really read it. A lab, lab? might help a lavalier no it's not that at all it's the room it doesn't matter what kind of microphone i have right now it's the room the room is empty and it's it's just empty okay <laughs> since it's empty and it has nothing to absorb sound that's what's causing the problem on it but i'll get it fixed don't worry about it guys uh, i'm still going to give you the information even if it's echoey i'll give you the information so you got to get started and this is the thing i see more and more and more people they and, and then so this is the first mistake you're going to run into they don't get started if you don't get started that three months is still going to go by that one year is still going to go by that two years that five years that ten years 
I know people that in my previous uh, job, I was in the automotive industry, and I talked to them when I started my business and they thought I was insane. Um, and then later on they saw I was making a lot of money and some of them would say, hey, I want to do that. I said, great, get started. Uh, and maybe that was you know five years ago, maybe that was eight years ago, maybe that was 10 years ago, and they still haven't started. And it's like, how do I convince you? Um, and then they say things like, well, you're different, and you're special, and you just got lucky. And it's, No, it's none of that. It's that I started. You've got to start, guys. You've got to get started. Um, or they won't see enough results. They see results, but they don't see enough results. Uh, I see that time and time again. You can go through YouTube right now, and you can find channels that have 50 subscribers or 100 or 1,000, and then the people just quit. They quit. You know, at one point I only had 50, well, at one point I had no subscribers. At one point I had 50 and then 100. I think I've got like 5,500 now, which is not massive, but I know that if I keep doing videos, I'll get more and more and more subscribers. Um, I didn't even mention the fact that my wife watched what I did and she started her own thing. She has a DIY channel, she has dog training courses, she has a pet channel, so she makes money now too. So we've got that stream of income also. Uh, let's see, dreams without actions remain dreams. Yes, you know, every, I have so many people come to me and they say, I've got this great idea, tell me what you think of it. Uh, and, you know, I'll say, I don't know, it sounds great, but you gotta try it. And that's what they don't do. They wanna get all this validation from all these people saying, yeah, that's a great idea, that's super, that's awesome. That's what they wanna get. When in fact, those people don't know anything. They don't, the only thing that knows is the market. So, you know, I've got courses that sell like crazy. I've got courses that sell kind of medium and I got courses that don't sell that great. I've got them all across the board. Same thing with my products. I've got some products that sell more than others. But the point is you've got to do this stuff. I have multiple streams of income. I just listed a ton of streams of income I have. And every day, all those things make me money. Every single day. If I sat on the couch today and just did nothing but watch TV, I know I've got money coming in every single day. How would that feel to you? How would that feel if you want to get to the stage, you've just got to learn this stuff. You can learn it from me, you can learn it from somebody else, but learn it and practice it and do it. This is the biggest contention I have with anybody who's starting is they don't do anything or they quit too soon. They don't get enough results. You will get more results when you do more. Sometimes I'll do one of these lives and it's not convenient for people and five or six people are there or three people are there. I don't care. It's still five or six people. It's still three people. And I know that if I keep doing it, it'll be hundreds, it'll be thousands. And it is. Like one of these videos I can do now, I think we only have like 12 people in here, which isn't a whole lot, but it's Saturday morning. It may not be convenient for people, but I know that on down the road, this video will reach hundreds or thousands of people. It's putting in that effort and not getting immediate results. And that's not what we're trained to do, right? We're trained to put in effort and get immediate results. That's why a lot of people don't go to the gym. They go work out for 60 days or 90 days and they're like, I don't see any difference. Well, of course you don't. You haven't done it long enough. Let's see here. Uh, printed in caps to ease your reading. You know what, it really does help. Uh, unless this is harder. No, it's actually very darn helpful. Uh, let's see, is blogging still a viable option uh, in online uh, income? 100%. Blogging is awesome. Uh, I like vlogging better because that's really what I do is I kind of vlog, but I don't really vlog because I don't do it live. Uh, I do these live. Um, but yeah, blog and monetize it with affiliate links. Uh, monetize it with links in there to more of your content. Monetize it with links in there to your products and sell those 100%. Uh, if you're blogging, you can make money. You won't make money immediately. You've got to get started. You've got to build an audience. Um, I've built an audience over the years. Uh, I have a good audience at this point uh, for Survival K Food and for uh, JR Fisher Training. Um, let's see here. When you started, how did you break it down into action steps? Did you have a checklist of steps? Here's what I have, Paul. I have things I have to do every day. Um, I usually will have a list of things um, that need to get done, but certain things have to get done that day. Okay, so one day I may be recording videos, and I may say to myself, well, you gotta record 10 or 12 videos, and you gotta have a scripts ready before that day, and you gotta start at 10 a.m., and you gotta do that until you finish, and then when you finish, here's the other things you need to work on. And I do that every single day. Uh, I have things I need to do every single day. And here's the thing with people. Um, you're not gonna wanna do certain things. They're gonna be a pain in the butt, 
Those are exactly the things you need to do. Whatever's a pain in the butt, whatever's difficult, whatever's hard, whatever is uncomfortable, that's exactly what you need to do, those things. Uh, and people don't realize that. They think, oh my gosh, um, you know, if it's uncomfortable, I probably shouldn't do it. No, if it's uncomfortable, those are the things you should do every single day. All that you need to make your life painful. If you haven't listened to David Goggins, uh, David Goggins, it's David and G-O-G-G-I-N-S, go listen to some of his videos. He'll explain this to you. Um, he's like one of the toughest guys in the world physically. Uh, he's accomplished all kinds of things. He was a Navy SEAL and a Ranger and all these things in the military. He like, he reached the top level of physical type uh, uh, endurance in all branches of the military. He's an amazing person. But he started off as a fat guy, 297 pounds. So, you know, it was painful for him to do that. He decided he wanted to go out and run five miles one day and he got a half a mile and that's as far as he could go. Uh, but now he runs ultra marathons. He'll run 100 miles, 150 miles through the desert. Okay, so he does difficult things every single day. Let's see, what's the new schedule uh, for lives in the future? Eat the frog, yes, first and get it over. Um, the new schedule so far is always going to be every Saturday. I'll be there every single Saturday. Uh, hi, Mr. Fisher. I'm sorry to make it late. Hey, I'm just glad to have you here, man. I'm just happy that you're here. Don't worry about it. You come whenever you want to come. You can come afterwards. You can watch afterwards. Um, so my schedule so far is going to be live on Saturdays. I would like to get live Monday through Friday again. Uh, and I'll probably do that at 9 a.m. Saturdays is going to be at 10 a.m. And it is Central Standard Time, just so you know that. Uh, and if you're new to this, guys, um, I have a lot of training on this channel. Go through these things. Be careful when you're learning how to make money online because there are a lot of gurus out there who don't really make money. They just teach people how to make money and that's how they're making money. Um, if I teach you how to sell products online, it's because I'm selling products every day. I told you in the beginning of this um, live today that I made $45,000 yesterday at Survival Pay Food. Um, that is one of my properties, one. I made money from all my other properties too, but that's just one of them and that's not a big day. That's a slower day. Um, so, and, the, and this is not the time of year you're supposed to do that. I've had that company for 11 years now. Uh, in the summertime, it's dead. I mean, I remember, you know, five, six years ago, we wouldn't make forty, fifty thousand dollars $50,000 a month, which to some of you go, oh my God, that would be plenty. Uh, but it really isn't. Once you, once you get to a certain stage, the things you want cost a whole lot more. Uh, we have to furnish this house. Uh, since I've been here, let me go through real quick here. I'm going to tell you what I bought since I've been here. And what I have to do, and I, I just texted this to somebody the other day. Okay, so this is what I had to buy since I got here. Uh, I bought a new grill outside here because I, I, I like to barbecue. Uh, I bought a washer and a dryer because I didn't have it. I bought a split AC unit for the garage and I have to pay to have that installed. Uh, I bought a sectional sofa for our family room. I bought a whole bunch of solar lights for the lawn. I bought solar lights for around the house that are like motion sensor lights. Uh, some of these things are small, but keep listening to me. I bought two utility sinks and I had those installed yesterday, one in the garage, one in our utility room. Um, uh, let's see here, I bought some cabinets, uh, I bought a refrigerator for the kitchen and one for the utility, or excuse me, one for the garage because my wife keeps her cats out there. Had to buy a new bed frame, bought uh, a bunch of bath mats and towels and stuff like that. Um, I'm putting new blinds in all around the house. Um, let's see, I, I have a nice faucet because this is a brand new house, but I bought one of those touchless faucets. I'm having that installed on Friday. It's going to take, it's going to cost, well, I don't know if it'll cost more in labor. It's going to cost a lot of labor to have that one installed. Um, and I have to furnish three more rooms and a dining room and furnish my office. So I'm looking at, oh yeah, and I had to uh, get handles for my cabinets because I didn't like the, the kind of pulls they had on them. Um, so I had to buy 76 of those. Uh, and I have to buy three pendant lights over my island because I'm going to do a cooking channel and I'm really excited about that if you guys are into cooking. Uh, let's see, uh, I got to get bar stools, which we, I think we figured out the ones we went yesterday, and then rugs for the house too because we have all hardwood floors. And then next week I'm having a, um, uh, what do you call it, water softener and a whole house filtration system put in and that's like over $3,000. So when you look at all this stuff, um, I have to make a certain amount of money. I have to make this money to pay for all this stuff. I mean, I'm probably going to spend $100,000, $150,000 on all these things for my home. All these things for my home are necessary. Um, and some of you out there may say, well, gosh, if I could just make $10,000 a month or $6,000 a month, I'd be happy. Um, no, you won't. 
Uh, because money is not what makes you happy. What makes me happy is the earning of money. I like earning money, and I don't mean you know that I'm getting money in. I mean that I'm teaching you guys, I'm training you guys, I'm giving you the, the things you need to make this money. I like that. I love getting comments from people who said, I just made $10,000 today off what you taught me. I love that stuff. So be careful when you're learning from other people, make sure that they're actually doing it. Uh, if I teach you how to do courses, which I do have a, a digital course designer I've been working on for about a year, uh, but that course is going to be coming out. Uh, and in that course, I literally teach you how to do online courses, how to build it, how to set it up, how to do all that stuff. And I'll have that course ready for you. Uh, and I think you'll appreciate that course. That will really help you. So if you're into wanting to do courses on any subject, whether it's cooking or art or you know carpentry or whatever it is you do, whatever you're hunting, whatever your thing is, you can do a course on a fitness uh, and you can make money. I've done a lot of courses. I think I've got seven courses now, something like that. Right around there. So anyhow, that's what I've got for you today. That and this big echo, 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 big echo. Uh, but the echo, uh, we got through the echo, didn't we? We got through the echo and it's really not that bad. What time is it getting to be? 10.33. I think I'm staying within my uh, about 30 minutes. I started a little bit late today and I do apologize, guys. I apologize so much for that. Um, check out the rest of my channel. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done so, okay? Don't forget to ring the bell, turn on all bell notifications so you're notified each and every time I go live. That's super important that you do that, okay? If you don't turn on these bell notifications, you're not going to know. Now, on Saturdays, I generally will email you if you're on my email list and say, hey, I'm, I'm doing a live on Saturday. I don't email you during the week, so you're going to miss it. You're going to miss out if you don't click on all notifications. You're going to click the bell and then all notifications. Super important that you do that. If you've got any other questions, guys, pop them in there. I'll stay here if you guys have more questions. If you don't, I'll stop. But if you've got more questions, pop them in that comment section. Now, some of you may be watching this um, and it's not live to you, okay? It's something that you just stumbled upon or you found it on my channel and you're watching this. Um, put your um, questions in the comment section. There's going to be a comment section. There won't be a chat box. But there will be a comment section. If you put your questions in the comment section, uh, I'll come back and I'll answer those things for you. Um, I don't say this to Brad, but I've sold millions of dollars of both digital and physical products online. And all I do on this channel is share that stuff with you. I tell you exactly what I do. There's no secrets. There's no none of that. Uh, let's see here. Do you put separate time slots for multiple streams? Separate time slots for multiple streams. Uh, oh, I see what you're saying, like on my different streams of income. Um, you know, I don't, I'm not that organized. Um, I know every single day there's certain things I have to work on. So every single day I have to make sure customers are taken care of at Survival Pay Food. That will generally take me an hour or two, but you see, you can't, you can't really put time slots in there, uh, Paul. And the reason you can't is because, you know, I may have a customer that sends an email at 3 o'clock in the afternoon and I'm working on a course for uh, designing courses, but I've still got to handle that situation. So out of a day, I'd probably spend an hour or two, probably less than two hours on survival pay food. But some days, like I'm, I'm coming out with a new freeze dried line, I'm going to spend 12 hours a day working on that new freeze dried line for several days until I get all that put together. Um, so the answer is, is I, I work on the things that have to be done that day and then whatever, whatever time I have left, I will apply that to the other things that I'm working on. So that's kind of how I do that. Um, but I do make sure that I work all day long. There's none of this, I'm going to start at 11 o'clock today, none of that. Uh, I usually will start at 8 o'clock in the morning. Uh, I generally work until 5.30, 6 o'clock in the evening, and then I eat, and then I go back to work again for two or three hours. Um, so that's really what my day looks like. Um, and I work on things as they need to be worked on. Uh, let's see here, you definitely look healthier now that the move is done. Oh my gosh, it was stressful. Uh, hope you all have a blessed week and ahead, gang. Let's see here. Visit. Oh gosh, I can't read. I've got to, I've got to lean up a little bit. Uh, what is the easiest way or platform to make your first dollar? They all make money. They all make money. They all make money. It's really what you want to do. Um, you know, you could, I guess, drop shipping is probably the easiest thing because you don't have to ship anything out. You could get some offers uh, on ClickBank and do some affiliate marketing. I have videos on my channel if you type in affiliate marketing 
Uh, you'll find videos on exactly how to do that. I have a course on drop shipping uh, called Digital Cash Academy. Uh, I have another course um, called Ecom Road, which shows you how to set up your Shopify store. Uh, both of those courses are really good. And I'm not trying to sell you a course, but you're asking, so I thought I'd mention it. Uh, I never sell anything on these lives, guys. I just don't do it. Uh, but if you want to search that in the description after this video is done, it'll be in the description, uh, so you can find that information there too. Last question: How hard was that desk to move? You know, it's not bad. It's not as bad as you think. We had to take the legs off. Um, uh, it has a really funky this like this. I had this these legs welded. Uh, it's really unusual legs. I'll show it to you. Or you can probably see it in, in some of the pictures I posted on Facebook. Um, but it's not hard when you hire two moving guys. There's the key. Uh, I had a couple moving guys in San Diego that loaded the truck, and I had two moving guys here in uh, Austin who unloaded the truck. So that makes it super easy. Uh, the platform that works is the one you put uh, the work and time into. Yes, they all work. They all work. Uh, off topic, uh, do you offer samples of your survival foods? Yeah, what we do for samples, um, and we, we stopped doing it during COVID. And the reason I stopped doing it during COVID is because I ran out of everything. I didn't have anything. Uh, but our small cans, we will send you a sample if you just pay the shipping on it, which I think 9 or $10 for one of the small cans. And then we give you like a $40 or $50 coupon that you can use on additional purchases. So actually, you know, you could give, you know, give us $10 and we'll give you 50, which is a pretty good deal. Uh, and I'll send that email out to my list. If you're not on um, Survival K Food list, go to survivalkfood.com. Uh, and, and I can't put that in there. It won't let me put the links in there. But Survival K Food, that's uh, survival and then word K, C-A-V-E, and then food, F-O-O-D.com. Uh, and make sure you get on our list. And if you get on our list when I send out some of my emails, which I'm going to be doing real soon, um, I will send out an email about the samples and you can grab that. Uh, I think I'm going to get out of here, guys. You guys have some great questions. I'm so glad to be back with you. I really am. I really miss each and every one of you. It's so good talking to you. Uh, some of you are kind enough to put comments in my videos. Um, you know, during the period of time I wasn't live, uh, you sent me messages on Facebook. I had so many messages. I, I apologize if I didn't answer all the PMs. Uh, but I can't always do it just because I get so many guys. I, I do my best to do that. Uh, and I love you guys. I love you very much. Uh, I want to see you succeed. I want to see you do well. Uh, and the way to do that is keep hanging out with me and I'll keep sharing stuff with you. When I have some of these wins, I'll share them with you and I'll say, hey, we just did this and it really worked out well. I'd like to share it with you. Uh, matter of fact, I have a funnel we just did that really worked well. And I think I shared it a few months ago, but I'm going to run it again. Uh, it's, a, it's a great funnel and it makes a ton of money. So thank you so much for being here, guys. Uh, I can't believe how meat prices have gone crazy. Yes, they have gone crazy. And I'm trying to keep my prices down. I raised my prices one time in the past, I think, seven years. And it was like a few dollars. It was nothing much. Uh, have a great weekend. Thank you so much, Jerry. And thank you so much for being here. Uh, and Paul and James and all you guys who are regulars, I really, really appreciate it. You guys have an awesome day, and I will see you at least next Saturday, but check out my videos during the week. They'll be coming out Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Thank you so much. I'll talk to you soon.